Okay, so it's going to move from the ground into the rod. And so the answer for this question is going to be the last option right over here. Okay, now for this question. So this question here um, requires a little bit of math. It's not that much theory, but it's basically saying that three identical, and identical means that when we touch each sphere, each one will have the same charge on it to try and balance each other up. So um, three identical insulated spherical conductors. So right now they're all having their own charges in microcoulombs. A, B, and C are given initial charges of this, this, and this respectively. Okay, cool. Now it's basically saying to find out the charge of A when sphere A is touched to sphere C, then brought back to its original position. Then sphere A is touched to sphere B and then brought back to its original position. So uh, let's just do this out. Basically what we're gonna be using is a simple model um, to find out the charge. And it's going to be, it's going to be Q1, basically finding the average of each Q1 plus Q2 over two. So that does not look like a Q, but okay, here we go. Q2 over two. So basically finding the average because when they're identical, they're going to split and have that same charge at the end anyway. So when you're bringing A to C, what you're going to have is um, eight plus two divided by two, which is equal to 10 divided by two, which is equal to five. So right now, A has a charge of five, and C also has a charge of five, and that's in microcoulombs. Now, when the second part says that sphere A is touched to sphere B and then brought back to its original position. So now we're gonna be touching that plus five microcoulomb charge to the negative four microcoulomb charge and then dividing it by two. So what we're gonna get in that case is five plus minus four, which is minus one, divided by two, which is 0.5 microcoulombs. So that's going to be the charge on both A and on B. So now when we're talking about microcoulombs, microcoulombs is 10 to the minus six coulombs. That is not a, okay, here we go, six um, microcoulombs. So, that's what a microcoulomb basically means. So when we have 0.5 of that, we're going to be shifting that decimal six points over. So what we're going to be seeing in scientific notation is 5.0 times 10 to the minus negative seven coulombs. So when we put it into our uh, sheet here, it's going to be five, so five, then zero, then the value of C is zero, and the value of D is also seven. So basically what we did is 5.0 times 10, oh, whoa times times 10 to the minus zero seven is basically what we did for that. 